So we get this, these next players set up. Of course, it will be Asim versus Kakoma. Oh, man. Oh, man. So tell me a little bit about Asim for the people watching. Right, so let know. me tell you about Asim. Asim is a player who came over from Pakistan um, back early Tekken 6, like, a, a, like quite a long time ago now. And, um, you know, this, the scene in Pakistan is very, very strong. Even now, they've got players going in the Asian region, you know, taking bodies, you know. Um, so he came over here, um, you know, destroyed everyone in London. Mm. You know, no one knew who this guy was. He just came in, took the money, left, you know. <laughs> and, um, you know, in the, sm the, the smash and grab. Bro, trust me, he didn't even keep the trophy. He just sold him or just gave him away. He didn't care, you know. But, you know, he was super, super solid back in Tekken 6. In Tekken Tag 2, he didn't play that much. But now Tekken 7, he's come back. And everybody in the I mean, this guy is the best in the UK with Kane and Trench. Really? You know, um, yeah, for sure. You know, this guy's super, super solid. And he finally gets his top eight here. I mean, like I said before, we spoke about this a little bit earlier. The fact that you, I get to come over here and see these kinds of players. We don't, t I don't typically get to see Asim. This is my first introduction to him. So the fact that he's here in this top eight, like I said, that very much validates the level of competition that's here. But no small feet in front of him. Kakoma, one of those guys. Yeah. Always in the top eight. And always was, in the top saying, sixteen. I was saying earlier, you know, he's they play this. They play similar characters as well, Asim and Kokoma. And talking to Asim earlier, you know, I think he wants to go for a blind pick here. Oh wow! Yeah. I believe he wants to go for a blind pick against Kokoma because they do use similar characters. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna lose at the character select screen. That's crazy. Katerina. Ooh, Katerina. Ooh. Katerina. Ooh. Katerina. Interesting. That was very interesting. But we know Kakoma has a slew of characters. He's going to go with the Paul, though. Yo, Paul? Have we seen his Paul yet um, in this tournament? I think he did play Paul yesterday. He I did. think he played Paul uh, one or two matches yesterday. Ooh, um, boy. Pretty solid. I, and I was talking about him yesterday because he plays character. He plays uh, counterpick matchups where it's just more comfortable for him to deal with it. Uh, he'll play a character that might not be, be conventionally a better matchup just so he can have proper tools to deal with it. And he kind of, you know, uses his fundamentals to flush out the rest well, of that game. However, know. I'm kind of scared because this is a, a new one. Katarina versus We Paul. know that Paul is a very dangerous character, but Katarina is actually not bad versus Paul. He has a very uh, easy punish on Death Fist and Demoman of the up back four. Um, those 4 4 4 can, and her counter hit tools can be so dangerous. So let's see. Here we go. Loser bracket match. Loser of this ma uh, match is going home. Here we go. UK versus Korea. All right. He's going to need your help, guys. I'm telling you right now. You don't want to cheer for him when he's walking off the stage. You want the victory. Oh, the sidestep. Why are you stepping, mate? Oh, that Harrier stance. See it in the background. Yeah, and that down 4 2 from Paul with uh, a true high crush Get can off. be pretty good versus Katarina with her jab strings and a 4 4 4. Really close to that wall. Needs to be careful. You see him going into the background just so they can get away from him. Oh, he just wants that counter hit for Yeah, he's fishing for it too. Okay. No, no break on the throw from Asim. Yeah, that's a double throw. That's a 12, baby. Back one just to test it. You see instantly Asim just backs up. Okay. Nice low poke. That Ooh, counter wow. hit. This could be dead, Steve. No, he doesn't get a clean wall spot. It would have been dead. Down one. Oh, let's it rip down one in the four. Okay. And that's one thing about Asim yesterday. He, even though he beat Kudans yesterday with Katarina, his combos wasn't actually that great. So let's see. Nice duck, but no launch. Hands off. I'm in a committed relationship with martial arts, lady. Oh, oh counter hit. That's gonna the hurt. glasses off. Let's gonna get some good Oki hit as well. Dash, dash, dash. That was, I thought that was gonna be a death hit. Oh, back one to wall. What? It's the wall. The wall did it. Uh-huh. Mm. Nice death fist, there we go. Okay, semi time. Low parry. All right, look at the pixel up there. Yeah, it doesn't quite get to the wall though. Oh, big low. Oh, the low. I'll uh, do it again. I told oh, you. No. Oh, nice what? block. No punish. He's gonna. Oh, oh, that was sick. Look at that pixel. <laughs> that dude is living with a breath. What pixel? I can't see it. Get off of me. I told you. And Asim with his clutch factor. He's, he, he, you know, one of the things about Asim is that he does tend to not panic too much in those clutch situations. And where the guy? Magic four finally finds it. Yeah, but doesn't aware. get the four, four, four afterwards. My boy Paul does not want to dance. Oh wow, that was a really good read. Didn't move forward enough. Big low. One of the things about Katarina is she commits those big lows, but if she gets caught, get off of me. Yeah. No Hop kick. Hop kick. Again, not a great combo, but still get some good damage there. Oh, just out of range. Go forward, 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 four. Here we go. Final. Oh, is it not final round? Nah, what? First, final round, first match. Is it final round? It's not final round. Oh, no, for Katarina. It is. Yep. It's match point. Bam, bam. Wall, huh? 
Oh my god, that was definitely intentional. That is cheesy. That is actually pretty cheap. Oh, that what a round. Pretty cheap. Final round. Fight. The glass is still on the ground. Oh boy. Wow. Trying to use a Harrier stance to mix up um, Kakoma. Yeah, but already right at the wall. That's the, that's the problem. Okay, four, four, four. like I said, right at the wall. That's oh, the problem. Terrible no, combo. Not a big combo from Asa. Okay, that's a big missed opportunity there. Let's Kakoma out as well. Kakoma playing really calm right now. Oh my god. Just poking away, poking away. Oh ah, my god. It just gets right under. Ugh. The down, down forward two, this could be dead, Steve. Two. Still alive. God. No down bad. Oh, Runs wow. over him. He asked him to take the headphones off. He's thinking about it. Don't yeah. blame him. I think he did well with Katarina, you know. He's been doing pretty good with that character this, uh, this tournament. But you said yourself, uh, watching him play yesterday, you can tell, combos not typically the strongest. Wasn't really aware with some of the combos that he has. Because I feel like there was so much damage that was left on the table that could have changed the outcome of that match. It's not only just the damage, Steve. It's the, it's the Okizemi situation you get from it. So he used the easy combo with down forward 1-1 one, one into Harrier 4, which puts Katarina in a pretty bad situation afterwards for Oki. Whereas the stomp into up back 4, really continues her pressure. So Asim, the combos are not really on point right now, but his neutral game and just general play style oh, is yeah. being pretty good with Katarina. Oh yeah, most definitely. Definitely a cut above the rest when I see players like that use that neutral, especially with a character like Katarina. And you said he uses multiple characters, so. Yeah, I'm, he has a dr he's got a dragon over Nakazumi as well, but he is now locked in with Katarina. And again, guys, this is a loser bracket action. The loser of this is going home. I'm really interested to, uh, oh, Diamo de Serio? Is that where we're going? Diamo oh. de Serio. Diamo de Serio. Diamo de Serio. All right, Katarina, let me see. There we go. Let's get a second match here. Kokoma versus Asim. Taking a last slow and low parry. Here we go. Fun. Gonna get the wall. Oh, there we go. Mm, look at that damage. That's what I'm looking for. You can immediately see the, the, the damage is huge, and it puts him in a good position as well, but Kakoma gets out of there. Yeah, 4-4-2-1 four, four, just to get out. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut again. Ooh. Sidewalk goes for the low. Just tapping it. Yeah, Kakoma staying defensive right now, waiting for his opportunity to strike. And this is what you don't want to overextend. Small pokes can get you the win, but you're fighting Paul. If he hits you, it's going to hurt. Oh my god, stonewall defense right now from Kakoma. Looking for the opportunity. One way from Asim, it could be it. Oh, jab. There you go. Slow, steady. You don't need a combo if you poke him, you know? <laughs> poke him down bit by bit. Asim with the first round. No. Oh, big whiff, no punish. I said no. Keep that leg down, lady. Get off of me. Okay, Come on. Look. Easy there. Trying to make him think about them throws. You gotta throw him out sometimes. Even if your opponent's breaking him. Get some get him something else to think about. Man, a, a Tekken player once, a legendary Tekken player once told me you can't break them all. Big counter hit. Bam bam. Goes to the woods. Are we going downstairs? <laughs> yes, we are. Death fist. Ooh, Ooh, look at the look damage. Dogs. Ow, ow, ow. Fight. I like the defense coming from Aston right here. Oh, Get okay. Trade. trade. Goes in the Harrier stance just to get a little closer. And now fighting back, getting a lot closer to that wall. Oh, the Harrier. Kakoma doesn't want to be there. You can tell. Sidestep. Moving into the foreground. Fine. Fine. I Kobe. told you, man. You can't break them all. Cut, cut, cut. Okay. Oh, he tried careful. to go for that cheese right Ooh, there. That hop, hop kick. Hop kick. That shot. Boom. Oosh. Oosh. Nice. Oh. Dead. Yeah. Down 4-1. Okay, ask him. Okay. okay. All right. And look at how much tighter he's playing. Not overextending too much. Not going for these big moves that could potentially get him launched. That's what you want. So this, was the, versus this was the same situation last match as well. 2 1 to ask him in rounds, but Kokoma brought it back. Let's see if he can do it again. Oh, big mid. Catching that sidestep. The first move we saw in that first round of the game one. Yep. Fishing for that down 4 2. Oh, sidestep back punish. 1 2. playing a really close range right now. You've seen those hop kicks be really successful. I wouldn't be surprised. Especially not right now. Oh my god, this is so tense, man. This is so tense. Oh no, break, break on the throw! Put him can't. in rage, though. Shout out to Uncom. Oh my Ooh. god, the whip punish! Ooh! See, 
see the reactions. The reactions. Instant. All right, now what's the, what, what's the order now, Steve? What's the order? What does Kokomo do here? Character select. Character oh. Select. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, ah, I'm going to call. Oh, oh we, we got, got a chunk going. Welcome to the I like the support. There you go. You don't want to wait till he's out of the tournament. It's to coming. Give him the power now. Yeah. What's he going to do, Steve? What's he going to do? Is he going to go to Kazumi? Dragunov? I'm Geese? Thinking, I'm thinking more. I was thinking more Kazumi. Oh, That's Devil Jin! Yeah, we, we've seen him play Devil Jin yesterday, too. What's he going to do? This is so tense. This is devil, this is the, the hard, the long process gone in. he commits to Devil Jin. It's crazy I mean, how many Devil Jins we're seeing these days. I know, huh? right? I mean, we saw Asim beat Gudans yesterday with Katarina, right? Mm -hmm. But I guess uh, Kokoma has a feeling he can do it. All right, one to one. That's the that's the match count right now. Final match of the set, guys. Make some noise if you want. Ask him to win, ladies and gentlemen. All right, just just so I'm not biased. What about Kokoma? Who wants Kokoma to win? See, it's the viewers <laughs> out there. <laughs> there's Leave a them be. They're entitled to their own opinions. Okay. <laughs> All right. Kokoma's like, see, I know, I know. I gotta be. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get into it. Final match here. Asim versus Kokoma. Loser of this match is going home. All to play for. So many points on the line. Really just facing already. Demon Paw. Uh-oh. Oh, oh how to electricity. The aggression from Kokoma. Oh, wow. He's fishing right now. Tries to go for an early down forward two, and it didn't work out. Asim looks really comfortable now. Yeah, just spacing out, spacing out, waiting for an opportunity. This guy's dashing in, dashing out. Four, look four, at four. how much more confidently he's playing. Still eats the raid kick that up 4-4. Four, four. Nice punish while standing four. Once again, still trying to corner. Oh, wow, that electric. The big boy combo. Yeah, there you go. Just reacting to that Harrier and a straight electric to the face. Block and punish while standing two. And that's what I was talking about, Katarina. I said it yesterday. You have to be careful committing to those big lows. All of them are punishable. Yeah, definitely. You know, Watch those worked against Kudans, but Kokomo with the reactions and a great punish as well. Oosh! That could have that could have been a lot worse. Oh, counter hit. Bam, bam. Bam. Four. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hey. nice. Just, just short of the wall, though. Plus frames here. Good defense by ass. Uh-oh, never mind. Bam, bam, bam. You just jinxed it, mate. Yeah, I definitely. That was my fault. I apologize. Oh, no. Ah, pulls, pulls the trigger, trigger. too early. And this is this is looking a little different. This is looking a lot more difficult. Yeah, give him power. Give him the power. Yeah, last chance saloon here for Asim now. Has to make that reverse sweep, but great play from Kokomo though. There you go. Sidestep the last hit of laser scraper. Yep. Get off of me. Saw that last match, lady. Hands to yourself. Oh, does it hit confirm the three, three? Three, three, three. Hop kick. That whip punish. Oh, just misses the stop timing. Get off. Oh my god, is he gonna make a comeback here? Oh my god, the hell sweep! The 1 1 2 confirm! So low! And Kokoma clutches it out versus Asim, eliminating Asim from the tournament. Kokoma Woo. takes it, ladies and gentlemen. However, can we, Can I get a round of applause for my boy Asim? What a great showing, man. My first time seeing you, I'm definitely impressed. Might need to get his autograph later. <laughs> Might need to get his autograph later. Interesting. So yeah, going for that uh, Katarina pick. Talking to me earlier before, he said he was going to think about doing Kazumi. He feels that Dragon of Kazumi were his strongest characters, but something you know, sometimes you just got to play by your feeling, you know. Yeah, I mean, you, sometimes you gotta. You, you're right. You have to go off of those feelings sometimes, and you also got to go off the the way the match is going. Some of the things you were doing. The fact that he was still really consistent with those whip punishes. I think he was like three for three on hop kick punishes and still even closing out that match with a whip punish just to let you know he was awake at the wheel. He was very much aware, but that counter pick switch to Devil Jin, like I said, it's not really like it's a bad matchup for Katarina. Yeah. It's just the fact that he feels more comfortable dealing with those characters tools with, you know, maybe with a Devil Jin yeah. as opposed to the, you know, typical. That's great. I mean, Kokoma, that's what makes him such a dangerous uh, player is the fact that he has all these characters that he can just body you with. So many, so it keeps you guessing. Yeah, I've, uh, I've once again, I, 